Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we are going to unwrap this globe model we created in the last video. So without any further ado, let's start unwrapping. So uh, change the workspace uh, of your Maya or you can just go to UV and uh, open this UV editor. So we are going to unwrap uh, this sphere first. So as you can see that it's a primitive shape and it's pretty much unwrapped already. But let's see how you can unwrap it anyway. So for this we are going to use unitize method. So go to your modify and click on this unitize. Now go to edge mode and let's create a scene like this. Go to your UV editor and in the edge mode let's cut this edge. Now press shift and make a selection like this. It's going to invert the selection. So we have now selected all other edges except this seam. Now we are just going to select this move and sew. So as you can see that uh, the UV on the top and the bottom are merged. So let's select these UVs and uh, cut UVs. Now select these UVs again and uh, unfold like this. Now you can select everything and uh, layout. And our sphere is uh, unwrapped. So we just need uh, some scaling. So let's scale it in the X axis. And now we are good to go. So layout. And bring back your model. And we are going to use the same method for uh, this thing. So isolate it. And uh, let's go to modify and unitize. Go to edge mode. And make seam selections like this. And repeat the same thing down here. Now we need to add one seam in here and one up here. And let's add one seam here like this. So go to your UV editor and cut. Then again press shift and make a selection like this. And it's going to make an invert selection. Now move and sew. Select everything and layout. So you're gonna have to do a few things like go to UV shell and let's select this shell here and these ones. As you can see, these are not properly unwrapped. So for these, what I'm going to do is just Select this shell, go to create and uh, in the planner mapping, let's select the Y axis and hit apply. And uh, repeat the same thing with these ones like this, select everything and uh, layout. Select all the shells and uh, just scale them up just to check if there is any stretching in your UVs. So our UVs looks fine so just select everything then layout. Now bring back your model and uh, let's unwrap these two. Isolate them and uh, we can combine them for now and go to create then use camera based. Now go to edge mode and uh, let's select the seams.
so we are done with the seams let's go to edge mode here and cut now we can select all the shells then unfold select everything then layout select this shell and uh, orient shell just to fix the rotation then layout now select these two and isolate then combine and uh, go to create then use camera based go to edge mode again and let's select the themes Go to your UV editor and cut. Now select all the shells, then unfold and layout. Again, select the shell, then use Orient shell. Repeat the same thing here. Now select everything, then layout. now let's unwrap this part so again isolate and use camera paste then create themes and cut then unfold rotate it like this and use orient shell same for all these shells select everything and layout Now we have uh, just this base here, so again isolate it and go to create then use camera based. Go to edge mode and uh, let's select this edge and uh, this one deselect these two. and this one here and one last one here just deselect these three edges and then go to your uv editor cut go to shell mode select everything then unfold so now as you can see that uh, everything is a little bit in curved shape 
and we're going to use the unitize method for this one as well so go to modify and select this unitize and now let's start creating the seams so let's start with this one and let's add a seam here and deselect these two select this edge and this one then one here and one here then deselect these two edges and now our seams are done so let's go to edge then cut press shift and make a selection to create an inward selection then move and sew select everything and then layout and for this part we are just going to select these faces and we are going to grow selection like this go to create and use planner mapping now let's uh, repeat the same thing go to face mode and select these edges then grow selection like this just between these two themes go to create and uh, planner mapping again and one last time for these faces here so select everything and uh, just increase the selection press shift and this full stop on your keyboard and then go to create and uh, use planner mapping and then layout so let's turn on the checkers and let's see if there is any stretch so we have some stretching here let's see which part is this let's scale it like this and select this one now we can select everything then layout so we have unwrapped uh, this entire model so let's select all these parts go to shell mode and select all these shells then layout So assign a new material here, let's take a blin and uh, rename it as metal. So you can select everything and uh, deselect this globe then uh, combine all the metal parts. Then select this globe and uh, assign a new material on this too, rename it as map go to edit delete by type history and now our model is ready to export so select everything and uh, let's go to file export selection and uh, let's export it as obj so that's it for this video and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then drop a like on this video and if you're new to the channel then subscribe and i also launched the membership on this channel and if you want to support this channel then you can click on the join button and become a member so in the next part we are going to texture it in substance painter so i'll see you in the next video 
Till then, thanks for watching.